Hey guys, so 2021 Isuzu D-Max. Um, today we're gonna to be doing the trans service. We've just finished doing the engine oil um, service and fuel filter. And now, yeah, moving on to the trans. So using the Ryko kit RTK186 and the Penrite ATV, uh, ATFLV oil today. Now, um, yeah, Phil's just returned from a 9000k trip up Broome, towing his caravan, so he just wanted to do some trans oil to make sure that it's not burnt, etc, etc. So, he'll be jumping under the car now, removing his bash plate, and going from there. Right, so these are the uh, bush skin bash plates. Apparently, $1,080 delivered. I'm going to double check, but um, this should be your drain plug here. This Allen key head up underneath should be your level plug. So when you're idling in neutral at around 36 degrees, this should have a slow like drip coming out of it. And up here on the left is your trans filler plug. Should be where you fill it up from. But what we're going to do is get this oil draining. And I just want to take a, ta a little sample of a piece of paper towel to show you the difference between new and old oil. Bearing in mind this car has only done, I thought it was 30,000 Ks, but apparently it's only 20. I'd say this definitely doesn't warrant doing a service, but the uh, owner Phil is very OCD in particular with his cars, so. All right, so on your left is your new oil. So it's really vibrant pink, pinky red color. And on your right is the old oil. So you can see it is starting to brown off. But I mean, if I seen that in someone's car, I'd say, look, we'll plan it in sometimes in the near future. But it doesn't have to be done today. But um, yeah, looking at the oil, it does look really pink. But obviously, when you put it side by side with the fresh stuff, you can see that it is slightly, slightly burnt. Um, so yeah, 20,000 Ks on this vehicle. I recommend doing trans oils every 30, so he's just a little bit earlier than I, than I said, but um, yeah, you can't beat preventative maintenance, I suppose. Right, so that's basically stopped now. Now, if I wasn't doing, if I wasn't actually doing the filter and I was just doing an oil change, then I would just be jacking this car up as high as possible from the front. Um, just get under a point and drive it up as high, I would not drive it, but just jack the car up as high as you can get it so it angles like that and you're going to get more oil out of the trans and the torque converter. Um, but because I'm dropping the pan it's just going to come out anyway, so not too fussed. Um, just going to be going around now and busting off all these bolts and dropping this pan down. That's a good example of why when you jack the car up on a bigger angle you get more oil out. So it all gets caught in the pan. So you got three bolts. It's funny how I'm finding all of my underwear in the rag bin. <laughs> Obviously Kerry's had enough of me having um, holy underwear. Understandable. I mean, I like her to wear nice underwear, but it's definitely, I can definitely say I don't return the, <laughs> I don't return the favor. 
All right, guys. So, fun fact: the um, filter kit that Ryko provides is for the old D Max. They don't actually do one for the new one, or the Triton, or anything like that. Apparently, so they don't have a filter that matches the one that I had. Was wrong. Um, and neither do Donaldson. So, currently, if you want a trans filter, etc., etc., um, you've got to go genuine. The Isuzu only got 15 in total in Australia and none of them are in WA so I've got to put this old filter back in um, because I got the sump off it's a good time to clean these magnets so your magnet just sit in the trans pan um, which you just drop into place and it should just be a little fine like a fine paste normally and that's fine and that's that's the main advantage to um, <coughs> doing your filter change is cleaning these magnets so they can pick up any of the crap. So, I mean, I different car, but in my Landy, I only do the trans filter every second trans service, um, and I just do a fluid change like every thirty thousand case, which is a bit excessive. But I do a lot of four driving and towing as well, so. Um, yeah, but this is the main advantage to doing your filters. Obviously you get a clean filter, but cleaning your magnets off is, is a real good thing. Keeps that oil nice. So, all I'm gonna do is clean this trans pan up um, and put the old filter back in. I can't find a torque for these, but because they're a solid spacer, um, <clears throat> you're looking, I'd say probably 10 Newton meters maximum, 10 to 11. Um, and, the only other thing is price wise $270 from Isuzu for a genuine filter $120 for the gasket so Phil the owners just said look just put the old one back in for now and we'll do it next service Awesome. All right, trans pan's clean. Um, so you can see as well. This is the drama with black stuff is it doesn't really show too well in the light. So you've got this here. This is what I was saying where the Allen key is. So when you're setting your level, it's actually the oil level coming over the top of this tube here. And you just want a little trickle coming out of the level plug, which is that Allen key from underneath. So when your car is running, that's how much oil sits in the trans sump right up to this here. And we set that at about 30 degrees, uh, 36 degrees. So a good little hack um, to do after you've done trans services, just if you've got an empty container, pour your oil straight into a container. It'll tell you roughly how much you've used. So I've used four liters or yeah, four liters. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put four liters straight back in. And then basically I'll set the level after that. So I'm gonna set the actual level 
um, at 36 degrees, general sort of running temperature. Um, and I'll do that by pulling that Allen key level plug out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pump four liters in now, and that's up through your level plug here, where you can see where the fitting's going in, and that's a 24 mil plug normally. So that's this guy here on the side of your gearbox. So 24 mil. I'm gonna pump four liters in, and then it might be a little bit over full, and I'll set the level at 36 degrees on the trans temp using my temp gun. All right, so I'm just gonna start the car now. Um, four liters have been put in. By the time I take into account brake cleaner and stuff that I've used to clean inside of this as well, when I'm cleaning the trans pan out, it's probably gonna be a bit over full. So I'll start the car up, pull that plug out, and you'll probably see a bit of oil pits out. <laughs> So you put your car in neutral, not in park, and cycle through the gears as well. Alright well, guys, so I've just let that stop draining when it's cold, so it's now coming at, no longer coming out of the level plug. I'm going to get this up to 36 degrees and then pull the level plug again just to show you the difference that setting the trans at the right temperature makes. Um, to show you how much extra oil you put in if you just keep it there when it's cold. Alright guys, it's at temp now. Um, I took a photo and sort of started recording but I'm halfway through setting the level up. Probably taking about 500 mil out in total. I reckon from um, between cold and 36 degrees. Obviously it is winter here at the moment, so I don't know, it's, uh, during summer you might not get as much out because the oil is already pr probably pretty close to 30 degrees, but, or 36 degrees. But yeah, at the moment, um, it's only, oil was only at 12 degrees, so. Once it starts to just show me some drips rather than a stream, we're good. set dripping at 36 degrees well, I think it's like between 36 and 50 or something but yeah all right guys that's it for the uh, trans service all I gotta do now is put the bash plates back on but um yeah if you've got a new 2021 plus D Max Ryko and double to double Dobinsons what am I saying Donaldson neither of them do a um do a filter kit for you so you've got to go genuine um same transmissions in the triton and the hilux uh so you, if you're struggling to get a filter you could probably go to to them instead and ask for a filter kit from them but yeah currently um Isuzu don't really seem to have any filters kicking around 15 australia wide and none of them are in wa which is pretty piss poor so um that kit number there is a no-go. Uh, important things to remember obviously are um, setting your oil temp at the right right uh, temperature and making sure that your car is level. So if you're on a driveway like this obviously your level plug's not really going to show you an accurate reading. So this ended up using about 3.7 litres of oil. Um, thought I would have got more than that out considering. But yeah so um, so thanks for watching guys. If you are interested, I will be doing, or they might already be out, but engine oil and filter change, fuel filter change, air filter change. So I have recorded all of those already, um, obviously on, whilst doing this service. Um, and later on down the track, I'll be doing upper control arm replacement and resetting the height of the Dobinson's remote res coilovers as it's sagged in the front. Um, and yeah, if you are interested, Scroll on down into the full drive fire 2 videos and you'll see the HPD front mount uh, PDI front mount intercooler kit install video on this. Thanks for watching guys, catch us on the next one.